पेपर आई डी इज नाइन टू फोर टू इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ स्क्रम मॉडल फॉर वर्चुअल लर्निंग इन मिनी प्रोजेक्ट कोर्स ड्यूरिंग कोविड नाइनटीन जस्ट स्टार्ट योर प्रेजेंटेशन गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन आई एम गुंजन बेहर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम भारतीय विद्यापीठ इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मैनेजमेंट एंड इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी मुंबई I and my colleague Dr. Dipali Shane Madam are going to present a paper on implementation of Scrum model for virtual learning in mini project course during COVID-19. Introduction. So, what is Agile? Agile is an approach to project management that leans heavily on short time frames, adaptability, and iterative iterations. So, there are many benefits of Agile. using agile we can able to manage changing priorities whatever is there in our project it also increases the project visibility then it reduces the uh, project risk at any stage as well as it uh, increase the project predictability we can easily predict the project and it increases the delivery speed as well so here in our paper we have used scrum method we have adopted scrum method and scrum is a scaled agile technique that offers a way to connect multiple teams who need to uh, work together to deliver complex solution or we can say that scrum approach includes its customer as well as their stakeholder and the regular spin save lot of time and money in development process why because work is divided into team as individual responsibility and then the feedback is collected from project owner and stakeholder in the scrum approach so this was a short intro about the scrum approach now moving to the next slide introduction so the paper introduction talks about that the normal lifestyle lifestyle of people had been hampered across the globe in the pandemic and to overcome this problem not only higher education institute but even school had also shifted to online education with virtual education platform bca projects are student driven and guided by mentors so in this covid uh, pandemic situation due to lack of student mentor interaction it had affected the development of students project with poor quality and poor development skill in most cases mentor guide the student in a uh, project development to follow the traditional waterfall model it requires a lot of efforts and time to develop project using the waterfall model therefore to overcome the problem of poor quality time management here a researcher has done a case study a case is considered where a comparative study of a agile scrum model had been conducted with waterfall model for developing the bca projects therefore this paper focuses on identifying the shortcomings of existing process and highlights the outcome of agile approach using in development of project based on the above scenario a study of an agile and waterfall model had been suggested and compared this approach improves student mentor collaboration student monitoring and the evaluation process now moving to the next slide findings of literature review so here a uh, researcher has gone through many research paper and thesis and it has been observed that there are few finding related to waterfall model as well as scrum model so various notation of waterfall model had been offered in literature review which is that waterfall model are 
very simple to implement because they are in a we can easily implement them in a linear fashion one up one uh, step after the other but it is very time consuming process as we finish first phase and then move forward to the other phase thereby various notation of scrum has been offered in the literature review and it has been found that agile methodology transform teaching and learning from a, a knowledge transfer to knowledge generation via rich interaction and experience so the result of agile methodology is that mentors become facilitator guides and inspiration for the students and student become self directed learners now it has been also find that through the agile agile model uh, using scrum model the project activities are divided based on the team maintaining the e log history and prioritizing the activity which work should be done in the next iteration where the student learn collaborative learning self directing self learning and promote iterative or you can say interact interactive learning this is a new transformation for new class pedagogy moving to the next slide research methodology so a case study approach was used for this research paper this research aimed to find out better approach to complete the project focusing on improved quality and within the stipulated time along with fewer efforts here researcher had a group of bca student for study purpose and to complete the whole study the projects to complete the projects various digital tools such as con, uh, con, conferencing tools such, uh, such as zoom or team meetings open source project management tools google drive and classroom were used next slide project life cycle uh, the bc batch was divided into two groups for developing the projects group a follows the waterfall model and group b follows the scrum approach for development of their projects while forming the groups no specific criteria were followed and randomly students were picked up and asked to form a group next a uh, project life cycle followed by group a so group a followed the sequential and linear approach which is the traditional way of software development here the project was planned in such a way that a detailed layout was draft for project with this approach to development it become easy to rectify the defects of one phase before moving to the next stage next documentation was done by the team throughout the development process it kept a record of time and quality and check if the process was followed sincerely after the development of the project the integration of different module was done and in the end testing was carried out it checked the final product and developed according to srs prepared at the beginning next so the mentors reviewed the documents and they highlighted the issues and ask for the resubmission of the documents to the students this approach was repeated until a document was accepted by mentors as a waterfall or linear approach was used the modification at later stages could not be recommended and the tasks were not completed efficiently in the stipulated time so in this table uh, the duration time duration of each task is been given to the student with the defined marks 
So for SRS, the time duration was allotted four weeks and the marks was 15. For designing and development of the project, uh, time duration was seven to eight weeks and the marks was given to A5. Technical documentation, for technical documentation, duration, time duration was one week and marks was 10. Final report submission, time duration was one week and marks allotted was 10. And for the project evaluation, one week was given and the marks allotted was 40. Next. Project life cycle followed by group B. Now to reduce the project complexity and understanding level of BCA student, the proposed model of Scrum with agile methodology was suggested as it divide the task into smaller spins, which is also called cycle. These are the rules that appear in the process while adopting the Scrum approach to the education, educative content. Project owner. The project owner decide what to be built in the project. Subject teacher of uh, software project management has performed this role. So the owner put off different project topics on which the project can be developed by the students. Topic given were student centric topic that were open and can be modified to achieve the learning objective of the subject. Scrum master. The mentor who acts as Scrum Master helps the team to perform the best. The Scrum Master conducts meetings during each sprint and the documentation is maintained by an active team member who acts as a team leader. Then next was uh, team leader. Team leader, he or she can be a team leader, which link between fellow team member and the mentor, that is Scrum Master. The leader connects fellow team members and mentors, schedule the meeting and give important notification to both the parties. Scrum team. A team of students in the project forms a Scrum team. A Scrum team works on the project the team develop the project and deliver a complete product at the end. So responsibilities to be handled here and the progression of the project is open to all mentors. The team members work in coordination and they are self-managed. Next. Uh, so a spin. What is a spent? Spent is basically a unit of work. The project tasks are considered time box events within a maximum duration and are designed to allow critical transparency and inspection. Thus, the sprint are a set of activities organized to achieve project mission within a time duration of two weeks or less than that. So the step of project development life cycles are, uh, the subject teacher gave topic and the scrum master gave this proposal to the student for project development. The mentor act as a scrum master. The project started with a proposal given by a mentor a topic that student should develop. Then next, with simple planning, the process become easier and nimble for the student. It become very easier to manage everything. At the starting of the sprint, planning meeting were conducted to define team formation, project mission, and activities planning. Scrum master conduct the first meeting, which is called as PIN zero. In this meeting, the project was explained to everyone and different stages were also discussed. Next. So the total project duration 
including the final evaluation of the project was 15 weeks each semester the duration of project development was approximately 9 weeks on an average three sprints were conducted the group submitted deliveries during that time and documentation was presented for better coordination the role within the team were allotted in rotation so that each member of team was aware of all the activities and the interest of all the team members was also maintained next so these are the marks and the time duration given to each spin so that student get equal justice for each spin so for spin number 0 time duration was 2 week and the marks allotted was 15 for spin 1 the time duration was 2 weeks and the marks allotted was 15 for spin 2 time duration was 3 week the marks allotted was 15 for spin 3 the time duration was 6 weeks and the mark allotted was 15 and at the end project report time duration was 1 and the marks allotted was 10 and for project evaluation time duration was 2 weeks and the marks allotted was 30 next slide now so uh, a comparison of waterfall model and scrum method has been done to check the efficiency of the scrum approach based on the student's quality and virtual learning the impact of using this scrum model in the comparative study has been studied it is found that this improved the student mentor interaction through scrum meetings so it with increases in the understanding of the project peer learning built up the confidence level of the students reduced the complexity of the project development improved and enhanced the quality of the project improvements in the student mentoring and assessment process it enhanced the skills development of the students to meet their industrial expectations student could be assessed on different criteria as they were playing different role throughout the projects student could apply different uh, skill learn during the program such as soft skills which include presentation communication leadership and many more so they have improve in such skills they could be apply project management skills and apply different concept to reality student residing in different location having many infrastructural and resources issues apply different problem solving techniques so these were the findings and the next slides so uh, here it has been observed that group a and b had developed the projects according to their models that are linear waterfall and scrum and the feedback was taken from mentors accordingly the project success factors were evaluated on the given scale from 1 to 5 so it is found that agile values were more than what are waterfall values and student have, have accepted the way of developing the project through agile next yeah it has been observed that some student residing in remote area are facing a lot of problems with student mentoring interaction and they were unable to meet the sprint deadline assigned weekly therefore to resolve such problem it has been suggested that a hybrid model of scrum approach and waterfall model should be adopted for bca project the proposed hybrid model helps in placing the post design phases of waterfall model within the scrum model 
the hybrid approach will help the student to better understand commanding and developing of the project therefore the above table depicts the project success as perceived by different stakeholders of the project and it states that team member from group b and mentors are more satisfied than group a next so soft skill weighting uh, has perceived by students from the groups is summarized in the above table the agile development method helped to improve the overall soft skill as compared to the traditional waterfall model method of the students next suggestion it has been observed that some students residing in remote areas and they have faced a lot of problems with student mentoring uh, student mentor interactions therefore looking all these problems in mind the proposed hybrid model helps in replacing the post design phase of waterfall model okay and it has been also suggested that requirement gathering and design phase is more easier for the students plus development testing integration and implementation phases become more convenient for the student those who have been developed through agile model now benefits of this model were improvement in students involvement enhancement in time management and task division complexity of the project is reduced this approach bridges a gap between educational and professional platform so students are more prepared for their industrial exposure and their expect industrial expectations so the study is limited to only a group of a students of bca program and further study uh, needs to be conducted in for future to validate the finding considering other programs with various subject and confirm the scalability of the framework so these are the references which has been used for uh, this paper and that's it thank you everyone okay uh, one query is there what your scrum yes. model you have implemented huh mm -hmm. if i compare with the present one how you will highlight your work sir final sir the number is in terms of comparison i am asking ah uh, so comparing <coughs> with offline no no not offline already the scrum model is available ha huh. some of the work is already done over there so how you will differentiate that with your model ah uh, yes uh, the scrum model is already present they are implementing it in the uh, like industry but uh, for the uh, we are looking at uh, comparing with the uh, traditional model so it has helped the students uh, uh, like in uh, like comparing with the waterfall we are we have not modified it uh, like uh, from the uh, the industry uh, use we have just uh, made some variation uh, into the number of sprints and the time duration that is there generally one sprint is of um, only 15 days but we have made it of 3 weeks or 4 weeks because it's not the professionals those who are working it, uh, these are the students those who are working so we have made the change in the time aspect and um, we have made the change in the uh, deliverables which are given little bit okay okay yeah is there any question once again from the audience if no you can stop madam your uh, screen okay thank you sir thank you sir